Hello everyone and welcome to another review video. If you like this content and you'd like to see more movies and books that are not well known but should be, then subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will not miss when a single video is posted. Today we are going to be reviewing a movie from 2012 called Upside Down. It was directed by Juan Diego Salanas. Now the premise of this story is that there are two planets that orbit each other at very close proximity while orbiting their sun. They are so close to each other that a person can go from one to the other without too much difficulty. There are a few rules that govern interaction between both planets. One, you remain attracted to the gravity of your home planet. And two, if you wish to get to the other planet and stay there for a little while, you need a counterbalance of matter from the planet that you're going to. And third, after a few hours, if contact between the matter of both planets continue, they burst into flames. Now, there's a couple of things you can infer just by the picture on your screen. One, the planets have a shared weather system and two they are tightly locked to each other the final thing to know is that the social status of both planets are such that one of the planets are rich the other one is poor so with that let's get into it when the move begins adam is narrating and he tells you of his twin worlds and how the gravity works on his worlds and we see a young Adam who is in an orphanage because there was an explosion, an oil explosion that wiped out half the city and killed his parents. So on the weekend, he gets to go visit his great aunt. So his great aunt tells him about a family secret. Apparently, there is a recipe that runs through the family where they can make flying pancakes and one of the main ingredients is pollen from a pink bee apparently this bee can travel between the worlds and it picks pollen from the opposite world and brings it back so his great aunt sends him to get some pollen but adam has a secret of his own whenever his great aunt sends him to get pollen he climbs to the highest point on the mountain that he can to get as close to the other world as he possibly could. Well, this time he meets someone else from the other side and her name is Eden. The movie cuts to some time later. We see Adam sitting on the highest point waiting for Eden. When she gets there, he throws her a rope. She ties it around herself and he pulls her across to him. And you can see that they're involved and they decide to go bounding through the forest and as they're doing that the police come up and begin searching and as Adam is trying to get Eden back to her side on the rope the police are shooting at him and he gets shot and he releases the rope and she falls and she injures herself. The authorities take Adam back to his aunt's house and they arrest her and burn her house. Ten years later we see Adam he's in his apartment and he's working on some sort of formula. We can see from his notebook that it is his grand aunt's recipe that he's using. We see him at work and he's trying to create an anti-aging cream but the effect only lasts for a few seconds. He then sees Eden on TV and this is the first time he realizes that she did not die. She works for Transworld and so he decides to go to get a job at Transworld. Adam is shown his desk and meets with his bosses at Transworld 
Meanwhile, his friends are feeling a bit betrayed by him going to Transworld, but he tells them he needs them and they reconcile. Meanwhile, we find out from Eden that she has no memory of her younger days because of the accident and the blow she took to her head. She says she's getting some stuff back in dreams. Adam does make one friend at work, Bob, who lives above. Adam brings him some stamps from down below that Bob, who is a stamp collector, wanted. Meanwhile, his friend from down below just doesn't think that what he's doing to meet Eden is worth the risk. Meanwhile, we see that Adam has made a vest of inverse matter that would allow him to walk around on the above planet. Adam puts on his inverse jacket, some shoes and leggings, and he heads out to go and meet Eden. But he almost gets caught on the way. He meets Eden, but when he realizes that she doesn't remember him, he tells her that he's Bob. When he gets back to his cubicle, the company is holding something they call the show. And it turns out that they fire you or they give you a bonus. And Bob was one of those at the fire after 32 years. So Bob gives Adam his some mementos before he leaves. And included in the box is Bob's ID. So Ethan calls Bob's number because Adam had given her Bob's number. And when Adam answers, they set up a date. So Adam gets out in his inverse weight suit and heads out on the surface of Upside for the first time. And he goes to the restaurant and he meets Eden. And he stays a little too long because the inverse matter was beginning to burn. So he, once the date is over, he jumps into the ocean and pulls off the weights on his legs and falls across the divide onto his world's ocean and for all the problems it seems to him to be a successful date. So Adam conducts a demonstration of his face cream and at that demonstration Eden comes to it and she sees him and she asks him his name and when he replies he's Adam, she leaves upset and he chases after her and he tries to use Bob's ID, but it has been disabled. So he jumps a turnstile and he heads out, but he's being chased by the police. He can't find her, but she's upset and that seems to trigger her memories because right then she remembers him. Adam heads over to Bob's place and Bob makes him a new suit of inverse armor that will not catch fire. And he in turn tells Bob about his formula and how it negates the gravity of both worlds. And he also tells Bob that he left out one main ingredient so the company does not have the full formula. The company realizes they don't have the full formula. Meanwhile, Bob helps Adam get to the restaurant where he met Eve and Eve is there and they reconcile because she remembers him now. And But their reunion is short-lived when the police came looking and he has to run. He escapes back to his home world while the TV is filled with news about the chase. He heads to the mountain where he first met Eve and he waits for her and she shows up on her side. They have a reunion until the police shows up and begins chasing them and shooting at them. During the chase, he falls back to his world and Eden is arrested. The company finds him and threatens him. They tell him that he must give them the formula and he must never see Eden again because if he does, they will rearrest her. Adam, of course, thinks he's never going to see Eden again, but Bob is working on perfecting Adam's formula. And 
then Eden comes to see him because she wants his help in getting to Adam. Bob shows up down below where he goes to visit Adam. He has improved on Adam's formula and is now able to use it to stay down below without the need for inverse matter. He gives Adam a note telling him he has a date. Adam goes and he meets Eve and Eve tells him that she's pregnant with twins and that something about the pregnancy has allowed her to stay in down below. The movie ends with scenes of skyscrapers bridging the gap between both worlds and kids playing basketball with each other and Adam narrating saying that their love changed the history of the world. But that's a different story, he says, and that's how it ends. I forget to mention that Bob was able to pattern the formula before the company Transworld could. And he patterned it not only in his name, but in the name of the company that Adam works for down below. This was an interesting movie in that it has the typical boy meets girl, boy loses girl, boy regains girl, and they live happily ever after. But it's where the movie takes place. The visuals of the twin worlds with the moon in the background makes it very interesting. And it would be fun to explore this world, this universe, a little bit more. Anyway, that's all for now. And I want to thank you for watching and listening.